You can't stop. Stop this. I don't go slow. I might knock knock. Say yo yo. Just touch somebody and tell them the Lord is blessing me.
nothing can catch you by surprise. You got this figured out, and you're watching us now. And when it looks as if we can't win, wrap us in your arms and step in. That you made our way When our backs were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You, you made our way And we're standing here Only because you made our way
this is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it this is the day come on y'all that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it to God be the glory I said to God be the glory I said to God be the glory for the great things he alone has done amen we want to start this service by asking you to please stand as we applaud and celebrate the angel of this house our bishop our pastor none other and his wife pastor calvin barlow amen and his lovely wife sister barlow for 34 years of pastoral ministry here at Second Missionary Baptist Church. Come on, you can do better than that. Amen. He's been pastoring some along that we've been living. Amen. 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 You may be seated at this time. Amen. We thank God for this day, for the entire month, we have celebrated uh, our bishop, for 34 years of pastoral ministry here at Second Missionary Baptist Church. What a month and celebration it has been. Amen. Amen. From the parade on yesterday, amen. Amen. Wonderful job by the pastoral team and Sister Joyce Hams, who leads that team, and all those who played a part in making that effort possible. And we continue to celebrate on today as today is the pinnacle day that we celebrate our bishop for his leadership here at Second Missionary Baptist Church. And for all of you all that are visiting with us for the first time, we greet you with Jesus' joy, and we thank you for joining in with us live streaming, and for you all that are in person here at Second Missionary Baptist Church, on behalf of our bishop, Bishop Barlow, his lovely wife, Sister Ruth Barlow, the entire leadership here at Second Baptist, we welcome you. We invite you to join in with us in person or online as we continue to uplift our King of Kings. Amen. We are truly grateful here at Second Baptist that you have continued to give faithfully out of the abundance of your hearts. You have been cheerful givers, and we celebrate God for you on today. It is because of your tithe and offering that we're able to do ministry here at Second Baptist. And we want to continue to encourage each of you to give of your tithe and offering uh, through the platforms that have been established here. They are safe and secure platforms. We have three online platforms. That is through PayPal at SNBC1902 at Hotmail.com. You can give through Givelify at Second Missionary Baptist Church or you can give through cash app at dollar sign SNBC 1902 or if you don't trust electronics and you're old school and you want to give old school guess what you can do you can mail your tithe and offering to the church amen at a thousand housing avenue nashville tennessee 37204 however you choose to give we pray that you do so during this season amen Amen. Well, let's stand as we prepare to recite our vision statement. Amen. With clarity and conviction on today. I see a people of God being one with God's vision for his kingdom. I see the saved reaching the unsaved and uncommitted. I see compassion at work in the lives of people. I see a community of believers in daily communion with the creator of life. Let us all say together, we see transformation and let it start with me put your hands together for our vision statement on today amen if you would remain standing as we read our scripture reading on today it comes from first corinthians chapter 13 verses 
1 through 13. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Paul writes to the church at Corinth, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I've become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endure all things. Love never fails. But whether there be prophecies, they will fail. Whether there be tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things for now we see in a mirror dimly but then face to face now i know in part but then i shall know just as also i am known and now abide faith hope love these three but the greatest of these is love the word of god for the people of god and god's people said together Amen. You may be seated at this time. Amen. We want to go higher in our praise and worship as we prepare ourselves for prayer. So if you would bow with me as we petition the throne of God. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name above all the earth. God, we thank you for waking us up to see another day God a day that we have never seen before and a day God we will never see again we thank you for a reasonable portion of health and strength God we thank you for your grace we thank you for your mercy God we thank you for your unconditional love God we thank you for keeping us even in the midst of COVID-19, we thank you for keeping us even in the midst of job loss. God, we thank you for keeping us even when we didn't want to be kept. And for that, God, we just say thank you. Lord, as we have assembled ourselves together safely in person, we want you to rain down your Shekinah glory in this place. Spirit of of the living God fall fresh on us on today spirit of the living God rest rule and abide with us in this place we pray God for our pastor on today as he continues to celebrate 34 years of pastoral ministry we pray God that you will continue to equip and empower him to do the work that you have called him to do God, help him to be in season and out of season. God, bless his wife, his family, and be with this second Missionary Baptist Church as a whole as we continue, oh God, to hold up the blood-stained banner. We thank you for Jesus. Jesus, we thank you for dying. We thank you for going to that cross and shedding your blood for our sins. And most of all, we thank you for getting up on that third appointed morning with all power in your hand and because god you got up we can get up because you live god we can live we can face tomorrow because all fear is gone 
So, Lord, we pray that you would anoint this praise team, that they may sing your hymn praises, that they may bring us into your presence, that we can truly celebrate you, not just for what you do, but, Lord, to love you just because of who you are. It's because of who you are, God, we give you glory. It's because of who you are, God, we give you praise. It is because of who you are, we can live and move and have our being. And for that, God, we just say, thank you. God, as we close this prayer, we pray for those who are sick among us, those who have suffered loss, that you will comfort and console them as only you can in times like this. We pray for the preacher who has traveled all the way from Alabama, that you may anoint him afresh to preach your word. God, preach your word, oh God, that he may be set on fire with Holy Ghost power, that our lives may be transformed, that we might be made the richer and the better. So God, have your way. We make ourselves available to you. We open ourselves to you. Transform us from the inside out that we might be called truly a child of God. We love you today and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray and ask it all. Let every believer say together, amen. Put your hands together for our praise team as they come to bring us into God's presence. to lift up the name of the Lord in this place today. How many of y'all are happy to be here today? We could have been anywhere else, but God chose for us to be here to praise his name today. Such a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. We love to call your name in some we cannot explain that happens when we proclaim your great name, your great name. We love to yeah. call your name in something. We cannot explain, we cannot explain that happens, happens when we proclaim. When we
you, Father. Thank you, Father. The name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Something about that name. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I have everything I need in this world because the great I am provides yes, for me. Yes, Even when I don't see it, he's providing. When I don't understand it, he's providing. I have everything I need. Thank you, Jesus.
Worship him. Do you need him to be something to you this morning? The good news is he can be whatever that you need. Worship him. You're whatever I need you to be. You're the I am you are. You're whatever I need you to be. Just say that to yourself. You're the I am you are. You're whatever I need you to be. You're the I am you are. You're whatever I need you to be. You're the I am you are. You're whatever I need you to be. You're the I am you are. Yeah, yeah. Put your hands together for the Lord on today. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I feel good. feel good because the choir, this praise team has reminded us that whatever we need, God is. I said whatever that you are in need of, God is. We celebrate him on today because he is the great I am we want to give way to sister Terika Barlow to introduce her husband or am I introducing I didn't y'all give her a hand amen Good morning, good morning. morning. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, To the pastor, the bishop of this church, Pastor Barlow, uh, to my mother, first lady, um, to the members and friends, deacons, staff, trustees, I greet you this morning by saying hello. Um, God is so amazing. God is so awesome. Um, So thankful that my family was able to make it this morning. We drove early this morning, so so thankful they were able to make it. (laughs) 
May we bow. In gracious heaven, Father, we come now, God. Just want to say thank you. Thank you, God, for you brought us this far. And just like you said in your word, you never leave us nor forsake us. And so God would say thank you. God, right now we ask that you bless this time, bless this hour. God, it would be all about you and no one else, oh God. God, I ask right now that you allow me to decrease and you increase in me, oh God. God, just stand forth, oh God. God, break yokes right now, God. Men hearts right now, oh God. God, we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory, oh God, because you are the only and true God. And in Jesus' name we do pray, amen. This morning I want to just look at two scriptures, just put two scriptures um, in front of you this morning. Um, the first one is Esther 4.14, 4, and the other one is Romans 8.28. Looking at Esther 4.14, 4, and I want to look at Romans 8.28. In Esther 4.14 4, it says, for if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance from the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to a royal position for such a time as this. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. This morning, I just want you to just think about this. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. We never know why God puts us in positions or places, places, um, in different situations, we only can think of and we only know that God is there and he has a plan for us. We're currently living in a country that has been stricken with a virus that seems incurable. We have seen the closing of schools. We have seen the closing of churches. And now we see so many people using Sunday as an extra day just to lay around the house. We have seen people who are terrified to come outside or to do anything at all. We have seen racism and Black Lives Matter campaigns. We have watched on social media how black men are shot down or choked out or even black women are shot sitting in their own homes by the police. From the perspective lens of some of these people, they believe that this is the end of the world and suicide is their way out. Now marriages are fighting to stay connected, but I can still hear my mama saying, when I myself was going through a dark place, this three, this two shall pass. So today I would like to just simply encourage you and say, keep the faith. Keep the faith. If you lose your job, keep the faith. If you lose a loved one, just keep the faith. Whatever the situation may be, keep the faith. In this text, we see that Mordecai, a, related, a relative of Esther, is begging for her to go to the king because Haman, the second in command to the king, has lied to the king about a group of people. Can I say it like I really feel it right now? Uh, 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 the king had just been bamboozled. He just been hoodwinked. He just been run amok by a man named Haman. So, 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 so we see here that we today have Haman living amongst us. 
We have Haman living in our homes. We have Haman uh, living in our living on our streets. We have Haman living in our neighborhood. Uh, Haman is an individual who wants to lie on you. He wants to kill your hopes. He wants to kill your dream. We have Haman amongst us now. Well, if let me go through it. Let me be properly correct, because if you don't know this story about. Esther, let me just drop some nuggets about Esther right quick. Uh, 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 Esther was a Jewish orphan who had become queen of Persia. Uh, she became the queen of Persia only because the previous queen uh, didn't go to the uh, party when the king asked for her. So she ended up being banished from the kingdom. Uh, now we have Haman, who had who was the second in command, and he's go he goes to the court, and everyone is bowing, but one of the employees named Mordecai, and he was a Jew. When Haman got word of this uh, about Mordecai not bowing, he got angry and decided that Mordecai and anyone who looked like Mordecai or thought like Mordecai should die. And Haman uh, manipulated the king to sign a decree and to have the Jews all killed. Now, when Mordecai got wind of this, he went to Esther. And he said, hey, let me tell you about this situation that's going on. Uh, and her reply was, you know what? I can't go see the king because he didn't ask for me. And if I do go see the king, then he may kill me. So now we have Esther, who has found herself at a crossroad. Uh, her back is up against the wall. She's, she finds herself in a fork in the road, and we ourselves have been in the same similar situations. Uh, well, let me give you some, some biblical witnesses here uh, who have been caught uh, at a crossroad or had their back up against the wall. We had someone called the three Hebrew boys. Uh, 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 even look at Daniel and, and look at Moses, just to name a few. Uh, but what should they do or what should we do in this time or in this situation when things look so bleak? So Mordecai goes and says, you know what? If you decide to remain silent, relief and deliverance will come from another place. In other words, if you now decide not to say a word and be silent, so many times, think about it, so many times we remain silent. We do not want to say a thing because we become paralyzed. We become paralyzed with fear. We become paralyzed with mental def defects or mental defeat. We, we, we get paralyzed with strongholds. We become paralyzed with indecision. We ourselves begin to get paralyzed. But church, I want to tell you, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith because God did not give us the spirit of fear. He has commanded us to be strong and courageous. He has said, do not be afraid but be, uh, and do not be discouraged. He says, you know what? Be steadfast. Be unmovable. Be uh, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Church, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. I know it does not look good. I know it looks bad. I know we're hurting right now, but keep the faith. Faith, what is faith? Faith accepts what God has said is good. Faith lies claim on and stakes its existence on person and pers the person and the purpose of God. Faith functions in the present based on what God has said in the future without faith. The substance that God has for you in the invisible realm will not come forth in the visible realm. Faith is a way of living. You demonstrate faith not by just saying it. You got to do it. Faith shows up in your feet, not just in your feelings. That's why Paul instructed us, not to, he instructed us to walk by faith and not to talk by faith. Faith is an action. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. 
Mordecai gives us a glimpse of his faith as he states relief and deliverance will come from another place. In other words, you don't have to do a thing. You can be quiet. You can stay quiet. But victory is still coming. Joy is still coming. Deliverance is still coming. Peace is still coming. Salvation is still coming because there is only one name who has power to save. He reigns supreme forever. He reigns supreme forever. That name, and why does Mordecai have this type of faith? Because we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. So notice what, notice here when he says, and we know, and we know. Many people don't understand why we know. Many people want to know, uh, how do you know? Explain how you know that everything is going to be all right. Why do you, why should I have this faith that you're talking about? Why should I keep walking the way you're asking me to walk? Why, you, why should I still come to church? Why should I still read my Bible? Why should I get on my knees and pray? Why? I've seen through the Bible how many who have kept the faith. I've seen them struggle. I've seen their hardships, but they still kept the faith. Job lost everything within 24 hours, but he still kept the faith. When his wife came to him and says, you know what, turn your back on that man, that, that, that spirit or whatever you believe in right now. But he kept the faith. Said, so we look at not only biblical examples of men and women who kept the faith. We ourselves can see people in our lives who, who walk, walk with us who have shown how they kept the faith. Why give up now? Why throw in the towel now? Why quit now? Just keep the faith. Paul shows us that here how confident he is. Because he says, and we know. He didn't say, and we hope. He didn't say, and maybe. He didn't say, and perhaps. He didn't say, my conjecture is. He didn't say, but I feel. He says, and we know. He states this without a shadow of doubt that he knows that everything is going to be all right. Many theologians say that he may be thinking about his own suffering and dealing with that and how God would deal with that and get him out of that. But no, he's talking about he knows not from just his experience but from many others' experience. We live in a world that is always doubting uh, about God, who always want to know about God. But here I want to tell you, we can look at the character of God. God shows us that he is holy. He shows us he's absolutely pure. He shows us he's almighty. He shows us he's all-powerful. He shows us he's absolutely in control. Uh, he shows us that he is good. He shows us that he is kind. He shows us that he is loving. He shows us how perfect he is in, in, in wise counsel. He shows us how perfect he is in understanding us. He knows about his children. Nothing is lacking in God's uh, spiritual purity. His moral character, his power, his control, his wisdom or love. Nothing. He, matter of fact, there's nobody greater. There's nobody stronger. There's nobody better than the Lord. So if we believe 
believe that all things work together for good. We got to know it. We got to know it. And how do we know it? That means we got to do something ourselves. We got to have a personal relationship with God. We got to take on some ownership of God. We got to know some things about him. We got to spend some quality time. We got to commune with him. We got to lean on him. If we don't do that, we cannot know about him. We can't stand confident and say, I know this man named Jesus. But also, if you look at this particular scripture, and we know, And we know it's like the certainty there. That's the certainty. But then it comes back and says all things. And we look at all things. We're talking about the completeness now. That means not some things. Not, it means all things fall up under there. Everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All things work together. All things. God has, watch this, God has uh, um, the power. Power, or he is more powerful than what is going on in your life. And he has the power and he is able to redeem and restore anything to be good. And for his glory. So that's why I can say all things may not look good, but God can use them to be good. And then last, I just want to simply look at this, the condition of that scripture. There's some condition to it because it says, for those who love the Lord, for those who love God. So that means in order for all things to work together for the good, that means I got to love God. I can't be a hater. I can't hate on him. I got to love him. I got to love him. So everyone does not get an opportunity to receive this promise about all things work together for good because they don't love the Lord. And we have to love God. So, so, now, so, so let's look at Esther. Let's go back to Esther. Esther was called to a purpose. Uh, she was put in a position. But, but would she answer the call? Bishop, you have been put in a position. In such a time as this, where the churches have been closed and now they're open with restrictions. Now is not the time to be silent with black communities looking for a way to survive in this hostile environment. Pastor, Bishop, preach the word. Preach like you never preached before. Preach. Preach until heaven gates are open. Preach the word. And in that time while you're preaching it, they look like they may not be moving, it may not be moving, it may not be hearing what is being said. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Church, you have also been placed in a position uh, uh, to not only be hearers of the words, but also doers of the word. It is not time to keep silent. It is not time to be quiet. It's not, it's not time for you to sit still. It's now time for you to get up and move and speak out because you have a risen Savior. Keep the faith, church. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. And as we uh, begin to come to the close of this year, of 2020, if you find yourself sinking deep in sin, keep the faith. You may find yourself far from the peaceful shore, but keep the faith. You have, may find yourself sinking where you think you will not rise anymore, but keep the faith. Because there is a master of the sea who will hear your despair and cry and he will lift you up but all you have to do is just keep the faith he will make you say I am safe now I am safe in God just keep the faith 
love lifted me. When then nothing else could help, love lifted me. Yes, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found blind, but now I see. Keep the faith. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Uh, sin has left a crystal stain, but he has washed me white as snow. Keep the faith. Keep the faith, church. Keep the faith. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. But if we just keep the faith at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light, and all my burdens of my heart rolled away because I kept the faith, and now I, hack, I can see because at the cross is where I first saw the light. And now and now I'm happy all the day. Anybody happy about the cross? Do I got anybody happy about the cross? Anybody happy about the cross? Well, if you're happy about the cross, you don't mind if I just start to mention some things about the cross. There was a man who came from heaven to earth. And, and, and when he came from heaven to earth, he, 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 he walked around and he began to heal some people. He healed the sick and he raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind and he made the lame begin to walk. Don't that sound good? Amen, amen, amen. And he, watch this, but he had some haters. He had some haters. They took him from judgment hall to judgment hall. And he didn't say a mumbling word. He didn't say anything. But when they took him from judgment hall to judgment hall, they beat him. They spit on him. They lied on him. Tried to kill his hope. Tried to kill his dreams. But he didn't say a mumbling word. And then they took him up a hill called Golgotha, a hill known for the Valley of Skulls. They took him up on that hill, and on that hill, they put him on this old rugged cross, and, and they stretched him wide, and, and they began to put nails in his hands and, and nails in his feet, and, and they put a, a crown of thorns on his head, but guess what? He could have responded differently. He could have said, no, I got all power. I don't want to go through this. But he kept the faith because God had commanded him to do something. So he suffered for us. And so he hung on that cross. And he bowed his head and died. And when he died, it didn't just didn't stop there. Because when they put him in a grave, they put him in a grave. And on that third and appointed day, he got up. He got up with all power. All power in his hand. All power. And I'm so thankful. I'm thankful that he died on an old rugged cross for my sins. And your sins. And in that time, he taught us how to simply keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith in this time. Keep the faith in doing this, 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 this season. Keep the faith. Don't allow the world to change your mind about who God is. And, and they would do that. And they would do that. They would try anything to change who, your own perspective of who God is and give you anything else. And they'd say this is acceptable. But just keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Um, there is nobody greater than God. There's nobody better than him. We can search all over. Uh, we can climb the highest mountain. Uh, we can go down to the deepest valley. We can swim across the widest sea. But 
there's nobody greater. Nobody greater than God. There's nobody greater. Searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Said I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Can we all see in the cross of buildings searched all over? Come on, sing with me. Say, we couldn't find. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody greater. Nobody greater. Golden right here. Listen. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all the praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all the praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Said, Mighty are the works of your hand. Said, Mighty, 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 mighty. Sing mighty, 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 mighty. Said mighty are the works of your hand. Said mighty are the works of your hand. Said healer, 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 healer. 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 My savior, 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 savior. My savior, 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 savior. My savior, 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 savior. Savior, 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 Savior. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Say Jesus, 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 Jesus. Say Jesus, 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 Jesus. Said 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. My God is mighty, 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 mighty. He's my healer, 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 healer. He's my savior, 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 savior. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Ha. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. 
I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. You searched all over, couldn't find nobody. You looked high and low, and you still couldn't find nobody. A country boy from Ripley, Tennessee, now you live in Nashville. You searched so long, couldn't find nobody. Looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody better, nobody stronger. Nobody wiser, nobody mightier, no one who could pick you up and turn you around and place your feet on solid ground, nobody greater, nobody greater. When I was in my darkest hour, it was you, oh Lord, and you, oh Lord, and nobody else but you. In the moments I wanted to quit, in the moments I wanted to give up, in the time I thought I wanted to die, It was you, oh God, and nobody else but you. Couldn't go to mama, couldn't go to daddy. It was you. I thank you for keeping your hands around me. I thank you for holding me tight and keeping me close to you. And because there's nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Nobody greater than you. Nobody greater than you. Only you. Come on, put your hands together for the for our preacher. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's bless God for him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Calvin, for telling us and reminding us how important it is to keep the faith. And thank you for blessing us by reminding us also that there's nobody greater than God. Amen. We want to extend this opportunity for you all who are outside of the ark of safety, who have never made an intelligent profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, 
as your personal Savior. In that same epistle of Romans in chapter 10, Paul says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can do that right now. You don't have to walk up. You don't have to take the preacher's hand or sit in a chair. You can do that right where you are. And for you all that are online, all you have to do is pray a simple prayer. Lord, I'm a sinner. I am in need of a Savior. I repent from my sin. That means to turn away from those things that you are currently doing. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. At that very moment, the Bible says you are saved because of the grace of God. You can pray that prayer right now with me as you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Don't leave this place not knowing where you will spend eternity. Tomorrow is not promised. All you have is right now. Amen. We want to thank God for, again, this wonderful, gifted preacher who came all the way from Alabama with his lovely wife and his children to share with us on today. I want to thank God for our bishop. For his labor and love here at Second Baptist. I truly believe that the best is still yet to come. Amen. We would be remiss, Bishop, if you wanted to share anything or have any last words. Sister Joyce, you can come forward. Y'all give Sister Joyce a hand. Amen. Good afternoon, church. I don't know what time it is. I am so happy to see all of you all here today. We are in really weird and trying times, but... I want you to know that our pastor hasn't missed a beat. He's been there for us from day one. We are so proud to have him as our pastor. Like Calvin said, there are people that use this for an excuse not to come out and praise the Lord. And I have to admit at first I was a little weary, but then God spoke to me and said, if you can go to Kroger, you can go to church. So that's when I started coming back to church. But before I get, uh, come to Bishop and First Lady, I would like to present this to Elder Gooch and Satika Gooch. They were the first ones to turn their love offering in for the Bishop. So we wanted to give that to you as our assistant pastor. So glad to have you and your family here today. You really blessed my heart. Faith is one of the strongest words that you can use. You have to keep the faith. If you don't have faith, you ain't got nothing. So we just want to thank you and your family come to, from, for coming all the way from Alabama to bless us this morning. And we can't pay you, but this is just a long, long Pastor? I already said what I had to say. I couldn't even make it all the way over here because I'm just so full this morning. You know, we love you. Uh, before, I'm going to present this to Pastor, but if there's anybody that was not able to get your money in any kind of way, it's not too late. You can give it 
to Steve, he'll give you an envelope in the back or you can just bring it up here to pastor if you want to. If it's anybody else that has a gift, a card, or anything, this is totally different this year. We can't, you know, it's so much social distancing. We didn't want a whole lot of walking around. But if you have something for Bishop, even if you want to meet him at the back door, that'll be fine. But I just wanted to give you a chance to give him something if you wanted to. Pastor, will the congregation stand? Will our congregation stand? Like I said, we can't all come up and tell you how we feel about you, but I know everybody out there loves you and appreciates you for what you do for us. I mean, even the Sunday school lesson it's always on point and it always brings me into service wanting more so pastor thank you for not ever stopping thank you we love you and we want to tell you happy anniversary this is from the congregation and this is just from other people do you have anything you want to say I'm going to stay here. Oh. Yeah. Let me I'm going to let uh, uh, she said she don't want to say anything. Let me say I, I thank God for all of you all coming out that could come. I had uh, I stayed up last night uh, for two reasons. And these grandbabies, they, they something else. Yeah. That's, that's little Huck. I call him baby Huck. But anyway, uh, let me first say I thank all of you for what you have done, what you did. Um, I did send out a pastoral greeting this morning, early this morning. Um, those who I, who I have emailed. I thank God for the word today. Keep the faith. And I uh, was thinking about Elohim, uh, prayer still works, amen. amen. Because I stayed up all last night. I, used, I don't have no problem sleeping. For some reason, two things kept me up. One was I got my tax bill, property tax bill. That kept me up all night. get my tax bill, you stay up all night. I thought how many weeks I got to work to pay these taxes. And the second thing, I didn't want too many people to come. I said, that's fine, a preacher don't want too many people to come to church. Because we've done everything we can to do everything safely. We have not closed since um, the virus because we followed the CDC guidelines. Some people thought I was crazy. But I'm a person who believes in God and believe in science. And I believe if you follow the science that you can do things and be saved. Nothing is 100%. The only thing 100% is you're going to pay some taxes some kind of way and you're going to die. But you can do things that mitigates danger. And so I was praying that not too many people came to church. So we want to make sure we can stay safely. And I just wanted people to pray for me and pray for Second Baptist. Thank God for all of you. And certainly I thank God for Ella Gooch for coming to my life in this season. And And I was looking at the praise team, and I said to myself, I said, well, the church going to be okay. And I was thinking about how leaves fall off the tree. You know, sometimes people think the wind makes leaves fall off the tree, but the wind doesn't really make leaves fall off the tree. The leaves fall because they got to give birth to new leaves. And sometimes there's going to be some falling away. But because I had to give birth to new people. 
And I think God's going to bless Second Baptist, and you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I, I, saw, I saw something that what God has planted here, you're going to be okay. And I'm not going to keep us long, but I just want to thank all of you for coming out, who came out. Thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. And I thought about Brother Rick, because sometimes I've noticed every lead don't fall off the tree. Some leaves wait around to see the new leaves. <laughs> I'm a country boy. Every leaf does not fall off the tree. Sometimes a leaf will wait around to see the new leaves. Brother Red, thank you for all you've done. Amen. And um, has a heart of gold. I want to thank you, Brother Red. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you. Thank all. I'm not going to try to call a name, but thank all of you for what you've done. Know that I love Second Baptist, and I know that you love the church to stay here and do what you've done. Keep praying. And Capital, we need that word this morning, keep the faith. We should sure need to keep some faith right through here. That kept, you kept coming back to that keep the faith. And there ever been a time we need to keep the faith. It's right through here. Amen. It's right through here. Thank you for a very practical word, but a very inspiring word. And a word that's needed right now. Thank deacons, thank all the deacons for who have come. Brother Cedric, thank you. And uh, thank you for being the chairperson. And just thank all of you. Thank you. Uh, some of you have a step in, and, and you've done real well. I know Lydian's probably out there, cook, uh, right, is probably cooking. If we don't sit, have no sit down meal, I think she's going to give y'all something to let y'all walk out the door. Don't cluster together. Please don't cluster together. Take your time to everybody what? Go out nicely and easily. We'll make sure that we go out here and, and then nothing happen. Amen? Amen. Amen. I just thank God for all of you. John, thank you. John really loved the church. Amen. He's, I don't say it because of my son, but he keeps the church. Y'all looking nice out there. Amen. And does stuff inside the church. And he and Steve Wright, we just thank God. Because even though many of you wasn't here, there are people here working all the time. Working all the time. You know, many of you are not here, people here working all the time. Make sure the church stays clean. Make sure the property stays up. And I just thank God for all of you. Thank God for the prayers. Amen. Thank God for the prayers. I'm happy, amen, I'm happy. I'm really happy, I'm really happy, amen. Good to see these grandkids, amen, amen. They, them little brassers. They now, when I go down to Alabama, they want me to ride them around, amen. They, let me go home, I, I'm, I'm getting the grandpa age now. I start talking about grandkids. I'm working with a grandmama and I talk about grandkids. God bless all of you. If I didn't call your name, know that I love you. I'm just trying to get us out of here. We don't need to stay in this building it's too long. God bless you. Jeremiah, I like your name. We have a son named Jeremiah. <laughs> and Jeremiah has a good, he has, he's a, he has a, a good attitude. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jeremiah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. And that, and that's, that, that's Miss Jeremiah over in the corner. Miss Jeremiah over in the corner. And we thank you. So thank you, thank you, praise team. Thank you, Flash. It's, I can call y'all, y'all, not that many people. Thomas, come in here. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Thomas. It is so good to see all of you here. And those who are willing to come, uh, we thank God for them least willing to come. And may God bless all of you. May God keep all of you. Let's stay together in the Lord. And let's just keep the faith. Amen. Amen. George, thank you. Thank you all. Thank all of you all. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Amen. Sister Lindsay and praise team, keep letting the Lord use you. You're doing an awesome job. Amen. Amen. Amen.
we're going to give uh, Steve. Oh, we do have to go plates. Is it Steve? To go plates for everyone. We ask that you would just swing by, grab your plate, um, and normally do what you do. Um, again, we just want to thank everybody for coming out and being a part of this wonderful, wonderful celebration as we have celebrated the entire month for Pastor Barlow for 34 years of ministry. And we want to ask our preacher to give us the benediction. Amen. Amen. Grace Heavenly Father, we come now, God, just thank you, God, just for this time, oh God. Right now, God, we ask you to strengthen our minds and our hearts, oh God, that we keep the faith, oh God. That we stay closer to you, oh God. God, I ask right now, God, that you bless this food, be used for nourishing our body. God, we love you and adore you. We give you all the praise and all the honor. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen.